In this video, we will cover alarms and their settings. Properly setting up alarms and notifications is key to ensuring your assets stay safe. There are two steps required to accurately set up alarms. Step 1 is enabling alarms, and step 2 is assigning alarm notifications. Once these two settings are in place, we will be able to receive and address alarms. Enabling Alarms Alarms are generated in the SonQ system based on the alarm profile associated with the point of monitoring. Each individual point needs an alarm profile assigned. Default alarm profiles are preloaded on your site under Settings, Alarm Profiles. You can use these default alarm profiles or you can adjust the profiles to better fit your needs. To edit a profile, select it and then click Edit Profile. Here, you can set thresholds which tell your SonicU device at what value, upper and lower, you want to receive alarms and how long you want the system to wait before triggering an alarm. Once the alarm profile is set up, it will need to be assigned to a point. Navigate to the Edit Point from the main page by clicking Edit, then selecting the point you would like to assign the profile to. Under the Alarm Profile dropdown, select the proper profile to assign it, and click Save. The thresholds and times will now be set on this point. They will also be reflected in the graph view. Assigning Alarm Notifications Once you have enabled alarms, you will need to assign users to receive the alarm notifications. Navigate to Settings, Alarm Settings. Here, you will see a list of zones available on your site. To the right of each zone, click the drop-down and select the users that you would like to assign to receive those alarms. Alarm notifications can be sent via text, email, phone call, or any combination of the three. To set up new users or edit user settings, you will need to navigate to the Edit User page where you can set up users and their notification methods. You will need to set up at least one notification method at the bottom of the page. For more help setting up users, refer to our Users and Groups video. Alarm Handling Now that you have enabled alarms and assigned alarm notifications, your SonicQ system is set up to notify you when undesirable conditions occur. The users assigned to the alarming point will now be notified based on their selected methods when the alarm occurs. If a user has selected email notifications, they can click on the link from the email to be directed to the active alarm page. Users receiving text or phone notifications will need to manually navigate to the active alarm page by navigating to Settings, Active Alarms. Once at the active alarm page, click on the alarm and you will have the options to acknowledge or resolve the alarm and add appropriate comments. Resolving Alarms resets the alarm and records the comments you enter into Alarm History. When you resolve an alarm, the point will re-alarm again if the issue persists. You should only resolve an alarm if the problem has been taken care of. Acknowledge Alarms pauses the alarm. Please note that no further alarms will occur for a point that is in the acknowledged state until resolved. 